All right, guys, Fire Man, Fire Man Mechanic here, and we're working on a Volvo today. And the customer is complaining of intermittent blower operation for the the blower motor for the air ducts for the heating and cooling system or the HVAC system. Uh, they're complaining that it will cut on and off intermittently, and sometimes they can't get it to work. So, what I didn't notice right off the bat is when we turn the blower motor control or the fan control, as you can see. Um, the lights aren't lighting up here and sometimes they were actually going out randomly right now the blower motor is blowing but I can't get it to go to full speed and a moment ago these lights weren't even lit at all so I'm trying to turn it down it's doing nothing so um, it says we're on auto mode when I start spinning it it should go to manual mode automatically now let's turn the air on okay so the air is working let's uh, that works. Uh, let's try a different blend positions. Those seem to work fine. Let's go back to our blower motor. Yeah, still nothing. Oh, and now it actually, now it actually cut off all the way. So, uh, I've already diagnosed this earlier. Um, to me, everything was just very erratic and nothing really was making a whole lot of sense, which, in, which indicates to me that this uh, unit itself See, now the blower motor just turned up all by itself. Now I have no lights illuminating here. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it was just uh, the whole system seemed to be acting very erratic. So, um, I went ahead and condemned this control head. This HVAC control head is all one piece. Um, and basically, uh, in order to get this out, all I really need to do is pop this center piece up like this. And you are going to find there are two torque bits. Oh, kind of hard to see there, but if you see this other unit here, you, um, there's two torque bits down the bottom. I just used my ratchet, hand ratchet here with a, uh, what size was it? T25 Torx. Um, so this piece actually just pops up. You see underneath there's just these little plastic tabs. Um, you don't have to release them. Basically I just used uh, my pick tool to get underneath there and just pull this thing up and it popped up. Then you can get out those two tabs there. But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. It's just got the one plug there. Now unfortunately I'm not going to be able to install this HVAC control head on this Volvo because um, we have some indif indifferences. So if you ordered this, I got this one from Junkyard. So if you are ordering one of these, I guess, or used one or even new one for that matter, you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, you have all your accessory buttons down here on the bottom because this one's missing a few, but I'm still got, I'm pretty st sure I can plug this thing in and still see if we get our blower motor operation back. But um, yeah, as you can see, this is all one unit one sealed unit so uh, even new, even though they kind of look like they're uh, separate pieces or separate switches this Volvo control heads all one piece so all right so we got this one unplugged minus the uh, cigarette lighter there I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this uh, pop this other used one I have in real quick just to see if um, we can get this thing to work or not Uh, okay and there we have it this is working properly as you can see the lights going up the blow motor is getting faster and down so All right, so with this control head, uh, the intermittent blower operation or fan motor operation is, uh, this is definitely fix the problem. Unfortunately, this is the wrong con HVAC control head, heating and ventilation control head for this Volvo. So we're gonna have to find the right one, but we know for sure that's what fixed this. So if you um, have a Volvo and your blower motor is cutting out and you have some of the same symptoms that we had on this one here, just kind of really erratic, uh, operation along with the illuminations not uh, lightening up and it, it, sometimes you can even try tapping it and see if it cuts out 
But uh, if that's the case, you're gonna want to go after this control head. Sometimes you maybe we'll check the connections in the back too. Make sure you got a good tight connection there. But uh, hope this was helpful for any of you Volvo owners out there. Uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the flat rate mechanic. Me uh, sorry, the flat rate mechanic if uh, you haven't already. Till next time, guys.